I'm here at Red Hat Summit with Daniel Gilfex, and Red Hat Storage is something that obviously is a big part of your overall offering. What, what makes Red Hat Storage special? Red Hat Storage is one of the, if you will, the crown jewels of the company. It's uh, one of our key capabilities that may be a little bit less known than other capabilities inside the company, but it is a very strategic offering and it's very important to our customers, mainly because there are so many trends that impact how people are deploying IT and how they're trying to adjust to modern workloads and take advantage of things for IT optimization and hyper cloud and et cetera. And they impact storage in so many ways from uh, just the fact that we're dealing with storage buyers who are not the typical storage buyer of the past. Uh, typically the folks now who are building applications and deploying hyper cloud environments are the same ones who need storage connected to them. So it's not like we're just hitting the storage administrator of the past. Uh, so many people care about storage. And the type of storage deployed is very important too because you need uh, something that are cloud native, things that will support Kubernetes, things that will, contain, will support container environments out of the box. And they have to be super scalable because our workloads of today are, are uh, require vast amounts of data and they generate super amount of data. So having object storage capabilities at scale, that's really important. So it's, you know, storage is some, one of these things that without it, you are in bad shape. But with it, life is, life is good. So how does Red Hat achieve that? <laughs> we achieve it with a, a three-pronged uh, strategy. We are aiming very much to have and to provide these levels of, of integration and, and tight integration support for Kubernetes environment with OpenShift. Uh, our OCS, our OpenShift Container Storage, is tightly integrated with, with, um, with OpenShift Container Platform. And it does not only provide persistent storage for your, for your applications, but, but complete data portability for, for your data and your apps. So when you say complete data portability, what do you mean by complete? It means that it doesn't matter where you're deploying it. It's portable from one platform to another, whether you're running bare metal, private cloud, public cloud, hybrid cloud, virtual machines, it doesn't matter. The developer shouldn't have to worry about that now, and that's one of the key features or the key trends that developers, you know, life is too complex already. So to the extent we're able to offer technology that is intertwined, connected, offers these levels of abstraction that, so that the details are hidden, that's good. And that's all, that's all at the, the software layer? It's not, it's not actual physical objects? or It is the software layer. I mean, we work with our partners, obviously. We have relationships with, with, with ISVs and, and hardware vendors. Um, and, and obviously the goal is to make the whole solution, if you will, a, as tight and seamless as possible. So yeah, Red Hat is a software, an enterprise software provider, but our e ecosystem is quite vast. And together, you know, we, we offer an enterprise open source solution for folks who are running multi-hybrid cloud, and that's where storage is so key. All right, well, thanks, Daniel. Thank you.